All right, boys and girls, I hope you can hear me well enough because it's kind of like a, I'm, I'm trying a new setup. See, we, we have a, uh, we have like basically a boom camera type thing going on. Let's see. Right. You know, so we're like, I can move it with my hand a little bit, but it's not so bad. What we're going to learn today is how to enhance uh, resins with graphene. So here's this good old fashioned Bondo fiberglass resin. It's a 3M product, Dow DuPont, everybody makes this stuff. It's a uh, pretty run of the mill garbage. Uh, you know, it's, it's with boat resins, Corvettes, you know, all that fiberglass is made out of. And the reason why they use polyester instead of vinyl ester, which I have a bottle of that, <clears throat> it's because it's, it's quite cheap. It's, it's a bit cheaper. So that's one. Um, but who cares about that? Let's just get on with it. So what we're gonna do, put this cup on here, set it up. Oh, let's put some gloves on just so that uh, every time you work with resin, you wanna use gloves. And the reason why is because shit gets on everything. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's kinda, I got a little thing going on in my throat, so I... All right, so here you go. You can't really see the numbers uh, on the scale. That's all right. Um, I'm, I'm kind of looking up and then looking back down. I think I'll adjust the height of this whole contraption in a little while. But that being said, you can see everything here. It's a really dirty workbench. Uh, so here we go. How we're going to do this is we'll take this resin, we'll pour it in the cup. We have it teared out to zero on the cup. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on out. We'll get something like, uh, I think 20 grams will do it. So what we're gonna do? Okay, so we got twenty point seven two. <clears throat> what we'll do is do a one uh, percent. We'll add one percent graphene to it. So that'll make it. Uh, that makes the math easier. So instead, of, it says twenty point seven one. So basically, or seven two right there. So what'll happen is we'll we'll add point two uh, grams of graphene to this. So it'd be twenty point nine two. Uh, just, you know, that last little decimal point doesn't really matter. Now, one of the keys when you're dealing with resin is, uh, the reason why I have this little jar here, you can't see it, but this is easy to go into one of the drying furnaces or ovens, uh, so that you can dry it out. You don't want any moisture into your resin. Um, that causes curing issues. It's, it just sucks. Any kind of solvent, remember this, and that's, that's another thing. If you're dealing with epoxies, uh, polyester, vinyl ester or liquid castable acrylic. If you try to use a solvent to, to thin it out, it gives you garbage response. It, it's not as good. Um, it makes it a lot weaker. So adding a little water in there would also do so. And also it interrupts the curing process. So we'll get to that. Okay, so we gotta get 0.2 grams. We're doing a 1% mixture. So 0.2 grams, so it'd be 20.9 Actually, it was up to 7.3, so let's see what we got here. We'll tap, tap, tap. That's not enough. It's uh, half of what we we're trying to do. Actually, you know what? You want to do a half percent? That, that's a good number as well. Do, 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 do. Just one more little tap. There we go. Perfect. All right, then we'll latch this down and seal this up. Put that away. Now, normally I would use uh, some kind of shear mixer, but today is chopstick day. Because um, I'm gonna just show you how to do it the easiest way that you can possibly do it. Uh, you would just stir it in, stir it in, stir it in, stir it in. Now, here's the thing. This is not really how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to use some kind of mixer. But if you do it this way, you can actually see, look in there, see how the, it'll have like these agglomeration spots. Okay, and I think you can see it. That's not an agglomeration, but see that little one right there? I don't know if the camera is focusing on that. Ah, <laughs> boy, I could steal somebody else's tagline right now. Anyway, 
<laughs> Some of you guys know exactly what I was going to say. But anyway, that uh, that setup, you, you don't want those agglomerations. That's just just a fact. Uh, but we're not caring right now. We're just we're just trying to throw some bars together uh, and see what happens. And then I'll I'll test these bars, and I'll actually do this. Will be a two part video. I'll do the testing, and I'll do the making of the bars. So we get this nice and stirred up, and then they have it's it's a hardener called MEK or MEK uh, P. Sometimes it's MEKL if it's old stuff. Um, and what I mean by that is old fashioned, and that MEK is not necessarily the nicest stuff in the whole world. There's a certain ratio. Follow your directions on your resins. This one right here, for this to this, it's like 1.25% by weight. Um, and I already know what the volume for that is, because uh, I've done this 20 gram test multiple, multiple times. So now I put the hardener in, and I stir it. Just like I stirred the graphene in. Do, 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 do. Stir it for about 20 seconds, maybe not even. Um, here's the only thing with this with graphene is that it makes the material cure a lot faster, sometimes double in speed. Um, <clears throat> so you have to be careful about that. If you have a large layout, you kind of that's when you have to really worry about it because the temperature will build up, and you don't want too much of that. But a lot of people, when they have large layouts, they have aluminum structure so that the heat wicks away. The good thing is that this makes it, the resin, the graphene makes the resin uh, a better thermal conductor, so it, it'll wick its heat out on its own. So, now, how you would do this from then, well, I have some fiberglass around here. You know what? I, I'll actually make this an enhanced project right now. You say, how, how would you use this in fiberglass? This is fiberglass cloth right here and we'll just put it in this little thing and do this and we'll, we'll do a fiberglass layout of this so we put that cloth down there we'll get actually another piece so we can do like actual real composite see here's another one and yeah that's good enough i don't i don't care enough so this will explain a lot carbon fiber is right here i have carbon fiber layout so it's it's kind of the same kind of stuff like it's a fabric okay so that's why all these things are called uh, fiber reinforced plastic uh, you know that's that the fibers are the these microscopic fibers inside the carbon fiber okay this is called a toe and this is a plain weave so you just wove uh, weave the 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 toe crosswise and whatnot and then you'll get a thing fiberglass the same way it's just a cloth just like you know your t-shirt or whatever and they've woven it so it does this oh I got a little uh, something in there <laughs> that wouldn't have been uh, good anyway so the resin's done it's it's nice and stirred up so what we do is we pour it into these little dog bones because this is what our original test is is to pull it on the test systems And this doesn't have to be the most precise pour because we're going to wick it off the top. All right, that part. And then this part here, if you were going to do a fiberglass thing, this is not how a lot of guys would do it. They'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Because they would have a paintbrush and they would be brushing it on and all that horse shit. But we're just trying to pour out our excess and you know see how it goes so here we go move this back now I'm just gonna do that to get rid of all that and then with the fiberglass here same thing I'm gonna put this in there uh, not a professional fiberglass layer uh, and then you put the other layer on there and then you get all the air bubbles out and you make it you know nice and even um, when you when you're trying to make a part and you can see it's kind of wetting out right now decently that's one of the advantages with the graphene in the material is it it lowers the viscosity of the resin a little bit and 
it makes it wet out really nice. I mean, it actually is wetting out pretty nice right now. Uh, I haven't even done anything. I'm, you know, literally I did it the shittiest way that you could possibly do it, and it, it's actually coming out fairly nice. On this end, uh, yeah, the bars are good. And then, after that, ta-da, you just wait. You wait, it gets hard, um, and I'll finish the video. After it gets hard, you pull it out of the mold, um, and that's it. That's that's all it is. Then you have your part. So the next thing will be, uh, the next video will be me testing the bones, and I'll, I'll pull the, the, the things out. It's not a big deal. You just go, and it comes out. But then I'll clean them up, you know, get the little extra excess off of it, put it in the test device, pull the bars, and you get to see what it does. Thanks a lot.